Looking good, old blue. I love that visor. It's looking great. So I'm here today to get the truck ready to hit the road. On my way here, I had to stop and check the mail, right? See, uh, I'm waiting for a couple of packages. And uh, it was a usual, you know, kerfluffle. Just a big cluster of people in the parking lot. And uh, you know, I pull into my parking spot. I park, I get out. Some uh, young girl comes roaring up beside me, parks, gets out. Maybe you shouldn't cut people off. I'm looking at her like, just like, what are you talking about? Because she was turning into a parking spot, right? She was making a left turn across my lane of traffic. So I have the right of way going straight through, right? So I go straight through and then I back into my parking spot, which is beside them. So I wasn't in their way at all. I went right, bes I, I went beside them, past them. I had the right of way. And then they came and parked in on the other side of me. So the drivers, she got out of her driver door on the same side as me, because I had backed in, she had driven in beside me, right? And she walks across the parking lot. So she didn't even park in the area of the parking lot that was closest to where she was going. The whole time she was all yelling at me about how I had cut her off and she's giving me the finger. And I was trying to explain to her that that's not how traffic works. But it just got me thinking like on the way here, I was like, you know, they had no idea who I was. I like to think I'm a good guy. I, I'm a truck driver. I get yelled at and sweared at all the time on the road. We're sort of used to it, right? We got a thick skin. We're big, we're bulky, we're in everybody's way, everybody's mad at us. It's just part of the job, I don't care. So this didn't really bother me, but I was, I was trying to explain to her, I'm like, don't walk away yelling and swearing at me when I did nothing wrong. I literally drove beside you. I had the right of way. Like, she had her signal on, though. So she was saying she had her signal on. She wanted to cut in front of me and go into her parking spot first. You understand what I'm saying? That I had the right of way, so I drove past her. And she said that she had her signal on, so I should have stopped, allowed her to cut in front of me into her parking spot, and then driven behind her. And then back into the spot. If it doesn't make sense to you, it doesn't make sense to me either. And I was just thinking, these kids, like, she's probably like, I don't know, 17, 18. I don't know what she wasn't doing, why she wasn't in school, first of all. But, uh, I guess, a different question, none of my business. But, uh, they don't know who I am, right? I like to think I'm a pretty decent guy. I, I can just say whatever. But what if, like, they ran their mouth like that to the wrong person? Like, she was a very small girl, maybe like, 110 pounds, maybe like 5'3 or whatever, got, got out of her car and I'm a bigger dude, I'm like almost 230 pounds, uh, just under 6 feet, like 5'10, five, well, five, I got a little ways to go to 6 feet, let's not give myself too much credit here, but I don't know who I am, I get out of my truck and they just run, like just gear into me about something that they have no idea what they're talking about. Like what if they did that to another guy who was having a bad day, who was a bad guy, and he just launched at her and just like knocked her out, right, or something, right? These kids, these kids, man. I was thinking about that on the way here. I was like, what if it was someone else? Like she could have really like, you, you don't want to mess with someone unless you know who you're messing with. Usually that's my rule for my life. And that's what I'm going to teach my kids. You know, if you want to mess someone, you want to finish a fight. Okay. You don't start fights, but first of all, find out who you're messing with. Okay. Don't mess with people you don't know because you don't know who they are. They could be anybody. You don't know what their past is. You don't know if they're on the run. You don't know what they just did. You know, they could have just like, murdered someone and they're like running away or something. They'd be crazy. They could just be a mentally crazy person. Find out who you're messing with. If you're going to mess with them, like, just don't mess with them. <laughs> That's a better thing, right? Don't, don't mess with people you don't know. I was thinking about that on the way here. I was like, wow. And like, really lippy attitude on these kids. Man, that was my morning. That was my morning. Old blue, isn't it good? Isn't it a good thing we're truckers? Because we're used to that. We're used to that. So I was just looking at them. I was like, man. You were not like taught social skills as a child, were you? <laughs> I'm going to teach my kid better than that. He's not going to do that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is. Uh, threw my morning off. Kids. All right, let's get some work done. First thing I'm going to do is uh, the other side, mirror bracket. Like, honestly, how do you explain to someone who is, you verifiably know that they are in the wrong, that you had the right of way, but they believe they had the right of way. So they think they're in the right, but you know, like, it's not that you're like, you think you're always right. No, it's, you know, you had the right of way. That's just how it works. You're a professional driver or, you know, you've been doing this for a long, you just know how traffic works. And when they come at you, like, what do you, what do you do? Like, you can't fix stupid. <laughs> It's like arguing with someone that the sky is actually blue and not green. 
Like someone just out of the blue comes running up to you and say, the sky is green. And like, no, it's, it's blue. Look at it. And they get all mad at you and start swearing at you, flipping you off, and then run away like a... Like, like they won't come say it to your face. No, they'll, they'll say it as they're running away or walking away. Has this ever happened to you guys? It's like, especially in traffic, right? Where someone gets mad at you for doing something that you didn't do or, you know, something that they did. This happens all the time. When people mess up on the road and they cut you off or they, you know, lane dive across, they almost hit you, you honk at them like, hey, I'm here, like you almost hit me, and then they get mad at you as if it's your fault for existing in that time and place and they're so much more important than you that they had to make the move they made and you were just in their way and that makes you in the wrong. You, you see these people on the road all the time, right? I trust that none of you are those kind of people. No. Those kind of people wouldn't follow me because they wouldn't like me because I call those kind of people out all the time. We always talk about those people, right? They wouldn't follow me. No, they wouldn't like this channel at all because they'd feel you know, like they were being attacked or something. Sometimes people just have to uh, learn the hard way, you know? That they're not very smart. I'm trying to keep it PG here. They're not very smart. You can replace all these words with whatever colorful words you would like to. I'm gonna get back to my truck. My truck. Bad drivers, man. Bad drivers. Bad drivers. Drive me nuts. The drivers that drive me nuts. That should be a series on my channel. The drivers that drive me nuts. Drivers that drive me nuts. I like it. New series coming soon to TJV. Drivers that drive me nuts. Okay, this broke. Right there, you see it? You see it? That broke. And that is a one piece all the way up there. It goes up there, it goes behind the mirror, and it goes on top of the mirror. So it's like a whoop, whoop, whoop. That is a $300 part. You wanna see it? You wanna see what $300 looks like in 2023? I know you do. I've got to be careful now that I don't get all worked up. I ain't worked up talking about it. I already let it go. I already drove away. I already let it go. Now I'm bringing it up again, and I'm like, I was right. I was in the right. I had the right of way. Driving me to drink Pepsi. Anyways, what does three hundred dollars look like in 2023? Hey, you ready? Drum roll. Dun -dun. Oh, it's, it's, it's wrapped in plastic because it's so expensive and so fancy. Wrapped it in plastic for you. That's, that's how you know it's quality and that it's worth so many hundreds of dollars. That's how you know. It's the plastic. High quality plastic. Where was it made? Well, come on, I know you're here somewhere. I know you're here somewhere, I know. You have to put it on here. You have to, because you have to let the whole world know who made it. Come on, where does it say made in China? Maybe this one wasn't made in China. Maybe that's why it's $400. All right, come here, come a little closer, come a little closer, all right. Ta-da. $300. If I had a welder and some skills, I could weld this in my garage, I'm sure. Though it would take me a while. Because it's fancy. It's exactly the right angles. It's exactly the right length. It's got exactly the right size of holes. And look at that. The end is flat. Couldn't do that yourself. That's where the money comes. Oh, and this side's even fancier. Look at this. Look at this. It's got a... You see? You see the... You see the quality of that angle? See the quality of that angle? That's how you know. 300 bucks. I'm gonna go and cry over here. Did I say $300? I got the invoice right here. I apologize, I was, I was totally off. Oh no, it's not $300 at all. No. It's $400. You pay for the shininess. Woo, trucking. Now, whose fault is that, honestly? Because I bought the part from PBX, right? It's not their fault. They don't make these prices. They, they order the parts in, and then, uh, and then they sell it to me, right? Same price everywhere else. Uh, for the most part, very close from place to place. So who's getting $300 for that piece of metal? Who, who gets that? Who makes that? Is it, like, specific to Peterbilt Kenworth? Kenworth? Are they getting that money? <laughs> right? Seriously. I don't even know what I'm doing. This day has been just... 
guessing this what, probably a half inch bolt on there? Maybe a 916th? Half inch! Winner, winner. All right. Well, I'm wiring up these lights because these got LEDs on the back, right? So I just got to wire them up to that. These actually have LEDs that can be blinkers as well. It has a high LED and a low LED. I'm not going to wire them up as signals, but since I'm working with the wiring and such, I figure now's a good time to put in the air cleaner lights or air breather lights, whatever you want to call them. So this goes up underneath that in there and it'll glow amber. It'd be pretty cool if it glue, glowed blue, right? Glue? If it glue, if it glowed. If it glowed blue. But these came with the truck. When I bought the truck, the previous owner gave these to me. He was gonna install them and he didn't get the chance until he, he sold it. And he gave these to me, so I'm gonna put them in and I'm gonna wire them up to the same light system as the mirrors, since it's right there. So when my marker lights go on, those go on as well. Yeah. Lights! More lights the better. Lights over there, lights over here. Lights everywhere. Lights and chrome. Chicken lights and chrome. I just about got this thing off. There we go, there we go. That's a tight fit. It's a really tight fit. Okay, so this light gets stuck in there to the top, shining down. So when this is up on top, this whole screen glows. I think it's gonna look great. So it's a little dirty inside here. Nothing a little bull snot won't clean up. Get it nice and clean. And once it's dried, we can stick this. It's just got like stick, sticky stuff. It got 3M sticky dual-sided tape. It's right in there. And you just gotta hook up the wires and bada bing, bada boom. We can also turn those into signal lights so that the air breathers are like a flashing signal light. But ah, I think that's too much. I don't need that. Just, just park lights is fine. Let's get a little squirt to this stuff. Let it sit for 10, 15 seconds. I'll wipe it off, it'll be nice and clean. All right, so I got it roughed in right now. Got the new uh, bracket on there, the $400 bracket. We got the new mirror on there with the LED lights instead of the incandescent. Much better. They are heated. I got the heat hooked up and I've got the lights hooked up and I've got the splice down here to go into my air breather light. And I got them on plugs here too. So if I ever want to exchange it or fix it or put a different color in there, it's real easy. I just got to clean them up there. I don't want them to stay looking like that. So the moment of truth. Let's turn on the marker lights and see if they all work, or if I'm going to blow a fuse. You never know. Aha! Ha ha! Nice! Nice! That's awesome. That's awesome. Let's go turn the lights off so you can see it better. I think that looks pretty awesome. What do you think? I can also make it brighter if I want to. I could use the brighter LEDs. Let's try that. Figure that out here. That's the brighter one. What do you think? Too bright? What do you think? Let me know down below in the comment section. The brighter LED or the dimmer LED in the air breather? I think I like the brighter one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Fix this out again. Put the dim one on. That's the dim. That's the bright. Dim and bright. Dim. Yeah, 
Yeah, I definitely think I like the brighter one better. Myself. It's easy to switch anyways. I just got them on like little plugs that I put them on there. So if I don't like it, I can always switch it back. Easy as that. Cool. So we're going with the bright. All right. All right. This is the second one. First one went on successfully. I think it turned out really good. I'm happy with it. Uh, so this is the second one. Got the top off the other side. I'm gonna stick this in here and see what it looks like. So I want it to be right in the middle, stuck down to the bottom. The wire is pointing towards the crease in this because that's where they're gonna come out. Okay, don't touch the sticky stuff. You don't have to. Straight down, right into the middle. You don't want to break the light, right? But you want it to stick on well. I cleaned the inside so it's a clean surface. Just lightly push it on there. Give it a minute to adhere properly. Right? And these wires, I've got little plugs on them here just in case I want to change this out for like a blue one one day or like a, a dual revolution. Because this is just amber. One day I'll probably take this out and replace it with uh, amber and blue so I can switch it back and forth. This is just orange light for now. Uh, plugs on here. I like using plugs because that way uh, I'm not as committed, right? I can unplug it if I want to and plug something else in. Well, I didn't get as much done today as I wanted, but we did get quite a bit done. So the visor was installed, the PBX. That's done. It's on there. It's legal. It's all set. Mirrors got replaced today. I got that done. Got them wired up. I got the lights and the air breathers done, wired up. I fixed these front lights under here. The marker lights weren't working right, and this signal light was uh, giving me issues. You can see there's a new one in there. See those screws haven't rusted yet, like this one. I need to get stainless screws for in there, yeah. But uh, marker lights and signal lights are working now. Oh. It's time to go home. I need to go home. I need to go see my wife, gotta go see my boy. It's 10.30. Didn't get everything done. I wanted to get the whole inside of the truck detailed and set up, but we're just gonna have to do that as we go. We're just gonna have to do it on the way. We got some gifts. Tina, the hat's a little big. <laughs> Thing's huge. <laughs> Maybe you're supposed to roll it up? Still a little big. There we go. <laughs> Yikes. This is from Tina in Shawano, Wisconsin. Sent a whole box. Look at that Chevy, eh? Whole bunch of stuff in there. This one might be even bigger. That's that's for a big head. That's a big head. I mean, Josh's head's pretty big, but. I mean, that's what they say. What oh, else wow. is in there? That's beautiful. It's an Afghan. It's gorgeous. And then there's some custom tags over here. Aren't they bookmarks? Bookmarks? I don't know. I assume that they're bookmarks. Josh, Britt, and Theo? Yeah. That's super cool. Josh can put it in the books like he never finishes. Yeah. I'll never lose my place. I can start it up again in two years. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Although, now that I have him, I don't know I'm ever, ever going to finish the book ever again. But maybe. Someday. <laughs> we got a couple of gifts in the mail today. Uh, we got a gift from the Netherlands as well. Where's the name on this one? Michael in Burkhout, Burkhout, the Netherlands. Got your package, got your wooden shoes. Thank you very much. And we got some clothes over there as well. That's nice of you guys to send that. Thank you. I feel bad that we've skipped a few gifts, like we've opened them without the camera present. I feel kind of bad about that, but we've been tired. <laughs> we've been overwhelmed. Sorry guys. We've gotten all your gifts, we just sometimes we forget to film everything. We get so excited and we just open it up and that, uh, those clothes, they came from Amanda Morgan in Racine, Wisconsin, USA. Thank you, Amanda. 
Thank you very much. So I think I got, I got quite a bit done. I got everything done that needed to get done in the shop. So I fixed those marker lights like I showed you there. I got those air breather lights installed, replaced the mirrors, replaced a mirror bracket that was way overpriced. And uh, the rest of the stuff is all inside the truck, detailing and installing those, uh, the underglow for underneath uh, on the floor mats there. But that I can do while I'm on the road too. Just wanna have some spare time so I don't have to have the shop for that. So, plus we got the visor installed and the tail light centerpiece. We got quite a bit done, got quite a bit done. Anyways, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you tomorrow. It's time to try to sleep for an hour, maybe half an hour. It doesn't work. He wakes up as soon as I'm falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but we wouldn't have it any other way. Nope. Best lack of sleep I've ever had. <laughs>